Hey guys, this is Abhishek and welcome to the second video of linear regression. And if you remember in our previous video, we have seen the relationship between the average number of rooms and price in thousand dollars, as well as we saw the distribution of the target variable, which is uh, the price in hundred thousand dollars. Okay. So what I'll do is uh, I will move ahead with the first step which is the creation of linear regression model with the one variable and then in the second step we will look at the linear regression model building with the multiple variables. So let's go ahead and use the average number of rooms as our first predictor variable to predict the price in thousand dollars as it shows a linear upward relationship so what we will do is we will try to find a line of fit which will minimize the differences and best represent all the data points and that's the objective of the linear regression to find the best fit line which can represent all of these data points by minimizing the differences from the line that's that's basically the overall theory is but if you are really more interested into theory because it has a lot of other parameters like uh, as I mentioned the differences it is called variation so there is something called RSS which is uh, regression sum of squares there is ESS there is TSS so there are different components I'm not going too much in theory because when you actually use it you will get used to of it but if you are really interested I will really suggest two things uh, first is Wikipedia and uh, second is uh, the uh, the YouTube channel of Brandon Folds he has really explained it well uh, even I have benefited a lot whenever I had any confusion or anything apart from that well books are always our best companion so I have used uh, one of my very favorite book which I have purchased long back and whenever I had any shoes and the book name is statistics for managers and you can find it online on Amazon to, to really buy it. So let's go ahead and first of all we will see the line of it with the help of Seaborn library and we will use the LM plot, the linear model plot to find the regression line. So let's come here and write sns.lm plot. SNS is the Seaborn library if you remember from our first video we have imported it here import seaborn as sns and it has a very customized visualization for our advanced use cases and lm plot is one of the very straightforward because you just need to specify x axis y axis and the data set name all right so the x axis is our you know this average number of rooms and y axis is basically the price in thousand dollars so what I'll do is I will simply copy this right and put it over here and let me execute it oops uh, looks like we missed giving one of the data point which is data and let's give it Boston and if it shows error then probably we may need to convert it into a data frame because right now what we have loaded is the toy data set so let's go ahead and try to see it yeah as I expected so what I'll do is uh, very quickly uh, the issue is that it needs it what it is expecting is a data frame so what I'll do is I will say Boston underscore DF and PD which is a pandas library I am getting the data frame and my data frame is basically Boston dot data because it has all the variables right so if I comment it out so that's number one thing that uh, we are getting the Boston under underscore DF and then we also need to get Boston underscore DF dot columns and this is nothing but the feature names so let's go ahead and execute this and see if we are getting any issue nope it's pretty straightforward we have got the data set which is this we have got this columns as uh, feature names now let's do the last thing which is most done underscore df 
and let's uh, get the price as the last column and that is nothing but boston dot uh, target and let's see this now we have the price as well that is a price in thousand dollars okay so now we are good what i'll do is i will just cut this so that i don't have to write it again paste it here remove this and let's remove this piece and this piece over here so our x-axis is uh, rm so i'll give rm our y-axis is price and our data set is boston underscore df let's execute it now okay now it's coming perfectly and as you can see this line this is the standard fit line indicating that from here there all these different variables which is away from the line whether upward or downward best represent this by minimizing the difference from the line so that's what is called the best fit or standard fit line that well represent all of your you know data set values which are plotted on the chart and this gray area if it is properly visible on your screen is basically indicates the confidence interval as you know it is moving towards center you can see that it is minimizing and uh, if it is far then it is increased because as you can see the data set that these data values have also pretty far and here they have pretty much grouped it uh, very closely to the line and that's why this confidence interval is also reduced all right now let's move ahead and do the linear regression modeling with the help of one variable and as you know that uh, the equation of the line is uh, y is equals to mx plus c it can be anything sometimes they call it uh, bx plus c or mx plus b but the idea is that uh, y is your dependent dependent variable x is your independent variable m is the slope of the line right or a rate of change based on one unit change in x the resultant change in y and then c is basically your constant error uh, that is there in the line so what we need is first of all specifying y identifying y and x and uh, then model it out to figure out m plus c to build the equation of the line okay so our x x the value for x is the axis value on x axis which is room so that is basically your boston dot data and we need all the rows and we need in this one variable case we need np dot new axis and five so what is really happening over here is that in the boston dot data we are getting all the rows since whatever is before the comma is indicating row and then after the comma is column and after the comma what we are specifying is the np dot new axis because it is a requirement of your linear regression that at least one axis should be present so we are just giving one uh, dummy axis to to this and saying that we also need the fifth column and once you are done with that and that's basically a case only with the one variable when you have multiple variable in that case you don't need it because you get multiple uh, because of the multiple variables you get multiple access okay so y is your nothing but boston dot target so we are here now let's say lin rec linear regression to initialize the linear regression I think we should have imported over here uh, if not then what we need is simply from sklearn dot linear model import linear regression and then linear regression after you have initialized the linear regression what you basically say is linrec dot fit method 
and you need to pass the parameter x and y and that's pretty much all that you need to build your linear regression model again just to revise it what we are doing is from the sklearn which is a scikit-learn library we are importing linear model library uh, or a sub library and in that we are importing the linear regression function and we are initializing this function to pass on the methods or the uh, or the pass on the methods like fit and other methods like predict in future we will use that uh, to fit based on the x and y axis okay let's go ahead and execute it so now we have the lin rec and uh, if i want uh, now i can get my other values the the slope value and the coefficient uh, the c value which i showed you so how i can get it is basically linrag dot intercept and here i have the intercept value and linrag dot coefficient c o l i n r e g c o e f and that's my coefficient value so this intercept basically represent the c part in that equation so if you remember y is equals to m x plus c so we know what is x is and we know what is i is and we are trying to identify m which is a slope and here is the value for slope and c is basically your intercept and this is a negative value over here so with this way uh, you can create your line to identify you can just provide the value of x that means the number of rooms and that number of rooms line number of rooms will be multiplied by this minus this one because this is a negative value so let's say if i'm saying i want to identify y in case of a five uh, room house so in that case what i will write is um, 9.1 to predict that i need to write 9.1 multiply with 5 rooms minus 34.67 and whatever will be the outcome is will be the price of that house in the thousands of dollars okay so it should be somewhere around you know ten thousand dollars so based on that so if i see that nine five 9 multiplied by 5 is basically 45. 45 minus 34 is somewhere around 11. And if we see for 5 room, the values are roaming around somewhere 40, uh, somewhere around uh, $10,000 or somewhere around that. And in the price in $1,000 axis. So this way you can basically say uh, that uh, how you can write the equation with the help of intercept and coefficient and then you can keep on changing the value of this the only uh, caveat i will give you based on my study and my understanding of linear regression that uh, uh, in this case the rooms are starting from maybe let's say two or three and let's say going up till nine and if you're trying to predict 12 room uh, house or a 13 room house that will not be right because that has not been scoped into into the equation so you should always uh, pass on the x value the independent variable value uh, if it is part of your model like six seven five eight to get the estimated price of the house by looking at just one factor which is the number of rooms and then there can be other factors like crime and uh, you know uh, locality ratings and things like that to really impact that but right now we are just looking at the one simple factor which is the number of rooms and the number of rooms should be anywhere between uh, in this case maybe two room to nine room right so that's that's just a caveat i wanted you to understand that if you are trying to predict it if you are going out of the bounds of your axis that will not be right okay the last thing i will do is is the use of predict method and uh, i will just pass the value the testing value now in this case five as a testing value i don't know what happened here um, five and uh, that's what you are getting the value 10 similarly if i want to predict now 
the eight rooms value this is 38 so you can just simply go ahead and pass on this model and this way you can get uh, the uh, the average or the estimated average price of your uh, of your uh, house that you are looking for so this way you can basically gain a understanding uh, looking at different variables either single or multiple about what should be the estimated price and uh, if if you have a website or something like that you can pass that equation to your website which will then calculate it for your users and you can gain the confidence of those users so in this video i have shown you how you can use it for the how you can create the linear model with the help of single variable uh, in the, and in the next video i will show you how you can produce the model with the help of multiple variables so stay tuned for that